With its facts first motto, CNN has branded itself as a news source that stands up for truth and accuracy. But critics say the network is failing to live up to that ideal. And an interview this week presents a troubling example of that. For years, Jerome Corsi has held a peculiar place in right-wing politics. He's a Harvard Ph.D. who's published political hit jobs against John Kerry and Hillary Clinton and traffics in fringe conspiracies. When Jack Kennedy fired Alan Dulles after the uh, Bay of Pigs fiasco, I think that's when Jack Kennedy signed his death warrant. More recently, Corsi has been implicated in the Mueller investigation for allegedly helping Roger Stone orchestrate the 2016 leak of hacked DNC emails. So CNN's Anderson Cooper had Corsi on to talk about his interactions with the special counsel. The one count that Mueller wanted me to plead guilty to was testimony that Mueller had allowed me to amend. And I thought that was completely fraudulent. But the discussion quickly veered into more familiar territory for Corsi, like skepticism that President Obama was born in the United States. I want to see the official 1961 birth records from Kenya. That'll settle it. I don't know where he was born. And Corsi's contention that the murder of one-time DNC staffer Seth Rich hints at a plot surrounding those hacked DNC emails. I think... Uh, the theft of the DNC emails was likely an inside job. For the record, Cooper challenged Corsi on each point. Why should people believe you? But that didn't satisfy critics who questioned why CNN let Corsi spew misinformation in the first place. Jerome Corsi, I appreciate your time. Time, yes. Truth, not so much. So do you give a guy like that airtime or not? That's the question. Personally, I wouldn't. Um, I see the validity of having someone who received a letter from, from you know, who's part of the whole Mueller investigation talking about that. But you keep that conversation really, really narrow. There's no reason to bring up the conspiracy theories. You keep it on topic, and then you end the segment. Yeah, I think, um, uh, you know, generally my position would be that if this is somebody who is in the public square and uh, the whatever it is that they're saying is mm -hmm. getting some traction, yes, have that person on. But have that person on and be prepared to be very aggressive mm -hmm. in your questioning. And I think that's where Anderson Cooper went off a little bit. Uh, he did push back, but at some point I think you slam your fist down on the table and you say, this is utterly ridiculous. And uh, uh, I'm and ending this I'm interview. Going, I'm ending yeah. it and mm -hmm. just walk away. Well, the other yeah. options well, do that's a packaged theater piece, too, right? isn't it? Yeah. Well, that, that mm -hmm. would that's be. Theater well, too. What, about, what about doing a packaged interview where if he goes off the rails, you can kill that stuff, leave it out, and get him talking just about uh, what he's there to well, talk if about. Well, there's, if there's newsworthiness to it, I think it would be certainly better to have a reported piece than to just let him rant on about his conspiracy theories. I guess Alex Jones wasn't available that <laughs> night, so they had to bring on uh, the B-team with Jerome Corsi. Uh, this is what CNN does. I mean, there's no defending it. Their idea is, we're just going to bring on the most outrageous guests we possibly can, and we're going to try to appear journalistically credible by having good journalists like Anderson Cooper push back hard. It's a show. I'm not impressed. Well, mm -hmm. in fact, he did not push back hard. Uh, to to uh, Lila's point, if you're going to be talking about it, the minute he started going off from something other than the letter and the reason you had to say, oh, we're not here to talk about that. And if it persisted, which I don't think he would have, given his demeanor, as I saw it there, say, okay, that. thank you, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of this conversation. The reason they didn't do a package piece is because they like the live electricity they think they get from this. By the way, um, this is how Roger Stone had a place there. Mm -hmm. This is how the, they used to have this black man whose name I permanently blocked, who was <laughs> so, so off the mark. It was crazy. The sheriff? Uh, no, no, it was before the sheriff's time, actually. The sheriff I know you're talking about. And we would, what? You know, he would just make up stuff. And they would go, oh, yes, that's right. And no one would say, you're just making nonsense mm -hmm. up. Nobody would cut off the interview. So for whatever reason, they were trafficking in it before and now. And uh, listen, we just talked a couple of weeks ago about the new hire they have in charge right. of political coverage, mm -hmm. by the way. So this yeah, may be Sarah, the new... Sarah Isger, if yes, I Yes, this yeah. may be the you new know, eat it. I Let's think just let it go. This, you know? was, um, this wasn't this was live. This was a package. So they did have an opportunity that they could well, have either edited it or something yeah. else. Yeah. So yeah. I think in that particular... They, they clearly made a decision to go ahead yes. and air it as it was. Shame on them. And if that... Yeah. Right. Shame on them yeah. for having done I think done it's that. also a misguided yeah. attempt at at looking like they're not entirely on one team rather than the mm -hmm. other. Look, you can't accuse us of being liberal because we brought this guy on and we gave him time and we speak, didn't right? cut him off and, mm -hmm. and we pushed back a little bit because we don't believe what he's saying, but 
it's it's this weird false. Is it still false equivalency if you're yes. protecting yourself? Yeah. On the other side, it's also yeah. insulting yeah. to people uh, yeah. who do have a different perspective, mm -hmm. who are conservatives, who do make sense. Right. You yeah. know, I might not agree with them. <laughs> that that might but be my choice. But they have an argument to make. But they have an argument to make that's cogent. That can yeah. you know that can be responsive to people in the space. Yeah. You're making them look like they're all crazy. It's right. probably you know? highlighting. Exactly. They, they actually made a, an additional concession in allowing Corsi's lawyer to come on with mm. him, which people saw. But it's worth underlining. So right. that's very strange. He's even a worse whack yeah. job than Corsi. Actually, yes, the one who, Clayman's been around for. Isn't for the lawyer ages. the one who actually first brought up the birth certificate you might thing? Be right yeah. about that. I don't think it was Here's Corsi. Here's a question so. that I just have never gotten an answered from. Listen, people who think that Obama was really, you know, born in Kenya, do you think any white people would let him have that job if he was yeah. not born in this country? Get <laughs> yeah. a grip. No. Anyway, <laughs> Corsi also you know, thought, and we can't list did. all his his strange theories here. Lies. He also thought that Obama had a secret gay marriage, right, to his college roommate. I mean, he's, he's got all sorts of... Well, so literally. The, we need to look at this in a more meta way, and that is there's very little reason to watch cable news, especially during the primetime shows. 